r slash ask reddit, who have you met that you believe to be irredeemable and entirely evil? All of that is awful. I knew a kid in school who was so evil that the gang members at school reportedly beat his ass for picking on the disabled kids. He went crying to the teachers, who claimed they saw nothing. Anyway last I hears he's in federal prison for who knows what. It's rare that I could say such a thing but, yeah gang bangers. You know it's bad when gangs think, nah, fuck you bro. Met a kid, he started bullying me and was just a bad guy, he had these eyes, that just, it's like looking into the eyes of a mannequin, no life behind them at all. Anyway a few years later I read in the local newspaper that the guy kicked a delivery driver to death after he spoke in a foreign accent. The guy is an irredeemably evil nut job, last I heard he was locked up, hope he stays there. Link. I've seen those same eyes in a kid from my high school days. No remorse. No care. My nephew isn't literate. He's 12. So his mom, at least to some degree, is evil to me. I've heard illiteracy is on the rise. Gonna be an interesting couple decades. I haven't met someone pure evil. But I did meet a kid who killed my guinea pig. And laughed about it. Wouldn't be surprised if he ends up in jail as an adult. This sounds pure evil to me. I met someone whose goal in life was to infect as many people as possible with their STD. I'm frankly hoping they were bullshitting to be edgy. I met Joel Osteen very briefly at Caesars Palace in Vegas. He's one of the worst charlatans this world has to offer. The fact that these preachers are millionaires defeats the entire fucking purpose I won't speak for Jesus, but I doubt he'd be pleased probably ask him why he isn't sharing it not just to some charity that's just some tax shelter crap that he still controls but actually help people. I've met like three people that were for real, no shit evil. One of them lives locally had actually shot a guy in HS the dude died in his mom's arms on Christmas Eve he got out after 5 years for good behavior. Edited it was 8YRS. Juvenile charges. That's absurd. My mom's bio dad. Pedophile child molester. May he be burning in hell. As an atheist, I hope they burn forever. Met a serial killer while working in a prison. He tortured rape killed and cannibalized a young woman. No remorse. A girl I knew that took advantage of everyone around her, especially really kind and generous people. I quickly pushed her away after she stole jewelry from me and then lied about it. She then latched onto a friend of mine and lived rent free in his apartment. I warned him that she was bad news, but he was too kind, and felt sorry for her. All the while she was secretly pawning his belongings anyway she sucks and it would be the surprise of a lifetime if I found out that she changed her ways. One of my neighbors when I was a kid. She used to come down to my house every once in a while and hang out. But you could just tell by looking at her that she didn't have any feelings. Like she was faking all her emotions. She ended up stabbing a homeless guy to death in the street, like for no reason at all. I don't think she was any older than 20, she's in prison for the rest of her life now. My cousin. He used his mom's death as a pity party to gather funds for her funeral and then spent it all on himself. I had to pay for everything. I don't know what the fuck he spent the money he raised the funds on. I do remember a court case in my country of a group of men trying to give aids to as many people as possible. So those people do exist. It's drugs, almost always drugs. Yep. I worked at a psych hospital for a bit and encountered a couple very evil people. The scariest were the ones who were attractive and polite slash funny, but when they looked at me, I could just feel that I was nothing but prey. There is a cashier at a store near my home that has this look. He has never been anything but polite but being near him was terrifying for no reason I can truly explain. I don't go there anymore, better safe than sorry Imo. A certain very famous preacher at a mega church. Kenneth Copeland, the one that looks like a demon hiding in human flesh. Pretty much every mega church preacher. Did he lock the doors while the rest of us in Houston were swimming? This POS. Sherry was a year or two ahead of me in high school. After he got out for her murder, he killed another girlfriend. Rot in hell Corey. Link. Slept in the same room as Carla Burr for a couple months when I was a little kid. Link. Death is a mercy this MF needs to be tortured. Microwaving a cat is on PAR with that monkey torture ring how do people like this exist? A worker in my mom's shop came up to my mom to ask her to take an STD test for her because she wanted to get into the escort service and didn't want them to reject her since she has HIV. My boss years ago. He came over to my house and left his shoes on the floor, and my dog chewed on them. I heard from the other room, him hitting my dog with his shoe. A couple weeks later, he sexually assaulted me. My boss. He lost his job. I had to quit. 
My life fell apart. What? The fuck. I hope you're doing better now. That sounds really bad. Too safe space in life just gone like that. My brother-in-law. First met about 30 some years ago, thought he was an asshole. 10 to 15 years later, find out he was such a scumbag, he was basically waiting for his parents to die, both the nicest, hard-working people you would ever meet, just so he could collect their small amount of savings and insurance money. And this applies to his second wife as well, first one is a sweetheart. They could slide under a gas truck and die. Yeah, like that. A psychotherapist in the greater Nashville, Tennessee area. I'm afraid of the ramifications of posting his name, so if you're in the Nashville area and seeing a white dark-headed male for therapy who kinda looks like a certain right-wing politician who may or may not have been referred to as the Zodiac Killer, DM me. If it's the same guy, you got a GTFO. My biological father and his father and my uncle and my step-grandpa. With the exception of my bio-father, all of them pedophiles. My bio-father is in that list because he gave me to his dad when he was angry at me. Not me, but an old lady. She went into a local tourist attraction shop and refused to be waited on by the cashier at the front, because she was undeniably certain she saw the devil in his eyes. That cashier was 15 year old me, just working at this shop that my girlfriend's family owned. Whoops. My stepson. There was always something off about him but not in a way that required intervention, he was just an odd kid. Who grew into a manipulative teen. Who grew up to be a pedophile as an adult. He hides behind religion and denies anything he has done to his victims. Fled one country to one where he has full and free access to victims because of small-minded family mindsets. He's a master manipulator. It's terrifying. This guy who went to my high school, and I briefly met once, was convicted of sexually assaulting a 13-year-old girl for over 3 years. This one guy I grew up with, countless downright cruel and vindictive acts from kindergarten to age 18. Hadn't seen him since high school. 14 years later, I read he was arrested after leading police on a high-speed chase through backcountry roads and crashing, with a two and four-year-old in the vehicle. Every single other bully or mean person I remember growing up with I either came to see the totality of their character by the end of high school or as adults. But not this guy. Were the two and four-year-old okay? Sad face. I grew up with a guy who was always mentally unstable. He ended up throwing his newborn against a wall because she wouldn't stop crying. Poor little thing died from her injuries. He is in prison where he belongs. That's so sad. Mom's sister. Manipulated my grieving grandma after my grandpa died, married a guy out of prison who forced my cousin to commit armed robbery which made him ineligible to enlist in the navy, told everyone my mom beat the shit out of her, grabbed her arm, started pulling shit in the hospital room minutes after my grandma died, shoved my uncle and claimed he assaulted her, and keeps insisting that she deserves my grandma's money even though no one in the family claims her anymore. Not even her own kids. Yeah. Hey guys, it's Reddit Glitch. Thanks for watching to the end of the video. Um, I just wanted to ask you guys to hit the subscribe button because according to my statistics, 98.8% of my viewers are not subscribed, which I think you should subscribe because it's free and uh, we're gonna have a lot more bangers in the future. So subscribe. Again, thanks for watching. Bye.